Hi, I'm Wilson, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to make music with your G502 mouse. That's right, I'm going to show you how to make your mouse into a musical instrument. For this to work, I'm utilizing Apple's GarageBand on a MacBook Pro, and of course the G502 software works on the MacBook Pro. You just got to make sure you have the Mac version of the software program. To get a quick synopsis of what I'm doing, if you need some reference, please refer to the first video I created involving the G502. Link will be in the description. And before I begin, please consider subscribing, clicking the like button, and leaving a comment. I am not sponsored by Logitech, I just wanted to create an awesome video to show you something really cool. And furthermore, if you wish to donate $1 to my cash app, that would be really great. Okay, for starters, I'm on the G502 application, and we're going to click Add Game or Application. And I'm in the Applications folder, and I'm going to go to GarageBand. I'm going to click Open. Now, what I'm going to go ahead is click on that, and click the X, and start programming. For the light effect, I want it to be cycled, so I know that it's the garage band itself. Sync the lighting zones, and look, it's already looking like a party. I'm going to go ahead and go to Assignments. Now, um, I just want to let you know on GarageBand, there is a feature called musical typing, and I'm going to use the buttons on the um, on the mouse to program the buttons. So if I were to hit the A key, for example, you see I, I did that with the keyboard. I didn't do it with the mouse. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and program the mouse to operate those keys. I'm going to go ahead to the G-Hub software. The primary focus is to program the buttons to utilize the keys feature. So I'm going to go ahead and go to the DPI, A, click A. And then I'm going to keep repeating from A, S, D, F, G, H, J, K, L. I'm going to go as far as I can. So I have the A. S. And I'm going to program the side buttons here. Yep, oh, there we go. And as an added bonus, I'll even do the left scroll, right scroll, and the secondary click. And go ahead and this should be K. Hey, there we go. So now I have a plethora of buttons arrayed to start making some music. And it's set to GarageBand. I'm going to go ahead and go to GarageBand and notice the, the GarageBand and notice the mouse. It's starting to change color. That means that I set up everything correctly. Now what I'm going to go ahead and do is try to make a beat. Let's see how it goes.
And it, it, this is not movie magic. This is not trickery. This is what you can do with the G502 mouse. I've already showed how to program it the first time. I've shown how you can use it for productivity. And this is just incredible how much fun you can have. And that's what I'm going to do in this portion of the video is try to come up with some nice beats. So here comes some jump cuts of me trying to make music. Well, I hope you found this video entertaining and informational and fun. Um, I might make another video with another feature involving using the G502 mouse and GarageBand. Thank you for watching, and please make sure to like, subscribe, leave a comment, and if you have any questions, please leave them down below. Also, if you feel charitable, please, I implore you, please make a charitable donation to my Cash App. Link to all the information about my cash app and everything else will be down below.